What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Doomami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So, yesterday we got some news on Dokkan, and it was pretty awesome because the brand new World Tournament LR has been announced to indeed be Demon King Piccolo. Actually, I don't know about announced. The data miners and the translators, you guys know all who you are. Thank you so much for your hard work. They gave us all the information about what's coming up. We're getting some awakenings for some older World Tournament units that haven't been awakened yet. We're getting a new LR. JP's getting a Hellfighter 17 that I think Global had two tournaments ago or something like that. So new information basically dropped on Dokkan. And what's funny is while they were working hard at getting all this information, I was doing this. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you see where my priorities are. Thank you so much once again to all the data miners and the translators out there. Thank you for making the Dokkan community all the more readily able to see the information as soon as they drop. So, basically, the main story for this whole thing was the LR Demon King Piccolo Elder that we are going to be getting on Dokkan. Right now it's JP, but in about one or two world tournaments we're going to get it over on Global. Now how this guy works is basically he's a tech unit that's an LR. He's gonna transform from the elder version, so this wrinkly old kook right here, to the younger, more vibrant version, which is the Demon King Piccolo, based on the wish from Shenron. It kind of sucks with the whole activation condition. It takes like seven turns or something weird like that. Anyway, this isn't about that unit, it's about these guys. So basically what I was thinking about doing was running the contemporaries for that Demon King Piccolo, or for any unit for that matter. In the future, if we get an announcement for a brand new unit on JP, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start doing some videos on the other units that match that guy in some form or fashion. So thankfully in this case, we're able to bring out both versions of the Demon King Piccolo because one is an elder, one is a regular, and you're gonna be using both forms with that LR. So we're gonna be running the Dragon Ball Saga team, dual 90% Kid Goku lead, so I have one and the friend has a 90%. So we're gonna be running both forms of Demon King Piccolo, we're also getting a Jackie Chun Awakening for a unit that I don't believe exists on Global as a World Tournament drop. I don't know. I don't think so. And that unit's getting an Awakening itself. So since we don't have that, I figured I would bring Jackie Chun and I would bring the Mafuba Master Roshi. He's kind of going full power, kind of going all out. The TUR for the Jackie Chun is also, I think, full power, if I'm not mistaken, where he's basically blasting the moon. So I figured that kind of works. And then... For a filler unit, I've decided to bring Chi Chi Youth because she works well with Goku. I'm not going to be using them so much. This is mainly to see how the other guys stack. We really don't get to see a lot of Dragon Ball Saga teams. So I'm going to take this team into the brand new Cooler event, the most recent event in Dokkan, and let's see how they stack up. I've got some items. I don't think I'm going to need any items. I feel like this team links very well and is going to do pretty decent damage. The idea is to probably have the two Piccolos work as the first rotation and then the two Roshis act as the second rotation. Now, I don't know how it's set up right now. Okay, well, you know what? We got the two Roshis, so that's good. We got the two Roshis together. Unfortunately, the turn after that, we're not gonna be getting one of the Piccolos. So we're gonna be missing out on some Piccolo on Piccolo action. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> we'll just see, once they line up together, how these teams are gonna work out. So, to kick things off, we will have Jackie Chun do some sealing. So basically, Jackie Chun can seal the enemy, and then he can also survive KO Blast. So that's his whole deal. And for Master Roshi using the Mafuba, he gets a crazy attack boost, 628%, performs a critical hit, and then stuns himself. So basically, he's going all out on one attack. So let's see how these two operate. I've never, I've never assembled this type of a team before. And also, Jackie Chun was one of those units that I had towards the beginning of my, my Dokkaning days. So I never built him properly. I'm still trying to work off the damage that I did to this guy. Because when I started Dokkan, I was under the impression that every unit should just have maximum critical. And that's really not true. That's really not true. So that Jackie Chun has maximum critical, which is unnecessary. I'm trying to give him additional so that if he doesn't have a super for a seal, the additionals will proc and probably give him another super to seal. And wow, that is the Mafuba in action. I think because he's out for this turn, I think he will recover by the time he returns. I don't really know how he works. I've never used him before. So here, unfortunately, we've got a tremendous type advantage. I don't want to kill this guy. I kind of feel like we might. Um, yeah, we're just going to intentionally tank it. So we're going to have the Demon King Piccolo do his thing. And we're going to have the rest of these units not really do anything because I don't want to run through this event really, really quickly. 
And right now, my priority is lining up my two pairings. Right now, we've got Roshis, and we don't have the Piccolos. So we're going to try to get the Piccolos lined up, and then have the Goku and the Chi-Chi Youth units be the floaters. And what's great about this guy is he greatly lowers the attack per super attack. He causes supreme damage, and then he greatly lowers attack. So he is a really, really, really valuable asset when you're doing things like Super Battle Road, and things where you basically don't have a lot of defense, having someone who can greatly lower the attack is very, very beneficial. So here is the Demon King Piccolo Elder. Unfortunately, he is not on the right spot, so we're going to shuffle him out. So we're going to have to wait two more turns for him to realign with the Piccolo. But one thing that's great about this guy, as you noticed in the run against Talon during Super Battle Road, he used this guy because he lowers everyone's attack by 25%. Another great Super Battle Road ally. And eventually, I kind of want to do a Namekians run. I would love to see that because with this guy combined with the younger version of the Demon King Piccolo, that's a whole lot of damage being nerfed. So just imagine how much damage it would actually take. That would totally make up for the lack of defense. Namekians don't have a whole lot of defense. Their offense is starting to look pretty nice. And I think from what I remember on that information page for the LR, that LR gets some pretty decent defense buffs. But I don't remember. Again, since I am a global main, I don't pay too much attention, but I think I'm going to start paying a little bit more attention just to have some fun, and uh, once I learn what units are coming, maybe I could run something on global instead. So we have to wait two turns. So after this turn, one more turn, and then Piccolo will line up with his counterpart. So we'll have that, and then we'll do that. Chi Chi Youth, she's a whole other monster. She's really, really great. The reason why I brought her is because she would fit very well with this team because we basically got three pairs. We've got the Roshis, the Piccolos, and the Youths. The Gokus can rotate in and out because we've got two of them. But the Chi Chi is great because when she's working with Goku, she gets a massive defense buff along with her crazy 250 attack. 250% attack, that's a lot. But she's a child, so I guess that balances out. All right, so here, yeah. So what's happening is Roshi is actually able to recover in between turns, which I think is pretty fantastic. So let's see him go again. I actually wasn't paying attention the last time. Does he get his critical hit ratio and all that stuff again? I don't remember. Mm. No, he does not. Okay, so the stun and all that stuff is gone. Obviously, with each time using the evil containment wave, it's obviously going to be less and less effective. I don't think that's necessarily the mechanic, but as far as it doing 628% extra damage and stunning and criticaling and all that stuff, that's not going to be there, which is fine. Totally justified. But finally, we got these two guys together. Reunited, and it feels so good. Finally reunited. So we're going to have Demon King Piccolo go first. The reason why I'm okay with doing that, like I said, is because we've already nerfed his attack by 25%. So only after one hit... Yeah, see, we just took 27 damage from one hit. And now, he's about to lower his attack by two more levels... So we're basically fine. So this guy is in a whole lot of trouble. Plus, plus, the Demon King Piccolo, the STR one, has an amazing passive. I believe he gives 100% defense boost to himself, and then I think he has a 200% attack boost for five turns, after which it reduces down to 120. Something, something crazy like that. So, wow. Everyone here is doing work. Dragon Ball Saga, I've said this many, many times. Dragon Ball Saga eventually will become the meta leading category. I've called it. I still think it's going to happen because they've got some really nasty combinations that do some really awesome things. So here is Demon King Piccolo. Defense plus 100%. I was right. Key plus 3. Attack plus 200 for 5 turns from the start. So I think we've already finished that. Now he will go down to Key plus 2 and 120%. That's still really, really, really good. So that is the Demon King Piccolo for you. Here now we've got a situation. Why is his defense so high? Oh, I see. Okay. His defense is really high pre super attack. After he uses the super attack, it will drop by 100%. So I kind of don't want to give him a super attack. So you know what? Oh, you know what though? I think he has. No, he doesn't have any additional. Okay. You know what? We're not going to give him a super. We are not going to give him a super. I kind of want to see if this strategy works. I'm very glad that I built him the way that I did. The reason why I gave him zero additional was for this exact situation. After he uses his Mafuba, he doesn't have the guaranteed crit or the stun. And in certain situations, you might find yourself 
not wanting to reduce his defense by 100%. It's kind of like when you use the tech Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Sometimes you don't want to give him massive attack because it means reducing his defense like crazy down to zero sometimes. Sometimes you, don't just, you just don't want that. So in this particular case, I decided to do that. I'm kind of glad that I did because yikes, look at how much damage we're taking. I think I might have to use an item. The item might be necessary. Oh, but we're gonna get a, we're gonna get an active skill here from Kid Goku. Kind of want to use it. Can this guy be nerfed? He can be nerfed, but he's he's raising his attack with a super attack. Oh, that's right. That's right. Ah, why the hell not? Let's use his let's use his active skill. Why not? We don't see this all too often. So I think we are at the end game here. With this ultimate attack, not ultimate attack, ultimate damage, we're gonna do pretty decent chunk. Maybe one bar, two bars, probably two and a half bars. And then we're gonna have maybe 50%. Whoa! Three bars? Four bars? Oof. Feels so good. That's a lot. That is a lot. I don't even think I need to use a. Yeah, I'm not. You know what? I'm not gonna use a. I'm not gonna use an item. I think we're fine. I think we're gonna win, actually. So with this, we lower his attack by two more levels. So even if he uses a super attack, he will only gain back one. Therefore, the net total will be negative one for this turn. This guy, I forget what he does on his super attack. I believe it lowers defense, but not by much. And then the Kid Goku, the less health you have, the more powerful he becomes. So this actually could take him out. So there you go. That is it for the Dragon Ball Saga team. This team is really, really fun. The animations are great. The perks are great. The abilities are great. The characters are just great. Dragon Ball is such a great show. And it's nice to see that they're finally getting some love. I'm not saying that they're getting it now, but the fact that this LR Demon King Piccolo is the next coveted unit for Dokkan, it's going to bring more relevancy for the Dragon Ball Saga category. And once that eventually drops on Global, you know that I'm going to be doing something with it. So this is the Dragon Ball Saga team pre-LR drop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed said video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you are excited for the Dragon Ball Saga category. Have you ever been a fan of it? If not, are you going to start using them now? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click that notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Reunited and it f Mwah. so good. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to dokan responsibly.